Today I have the Umarik Zellos with some upgraded modifications to it uh, that you can easily pick up yourself. One thing I'm really going to hit on is uh, baffles. Made some baffles for the um, shroud. The shroud is empty and so these baffles go inside of here and really bring down the noise level. I'll go on and show you some um, shots over um, a sound meter so you can see the difference. The coolest thing though to me is this grip. I call this the joystick. Let's see if you can see that grip. Um, the what it does differently is it puts your whole hand and then your thumb on this side, but your whole hand is underneath the trigger. So when you pull the trigger, it's a straight back pull. The gun is unloaded. There's nothing in here. So your your hand sits right underneath the entire trigger. You put your finger over the trigger and it's a straight slide back. It just slides completely straight back as opposed to having the grip back here and you have to stretch your thumb out and I mean your index finger for the trigger and pull it back. This grip will fit the FX impact and obviously the Zellos. I'm going to try and make some different one, uh, different grips for different air guns, but right now I only have the FX impact and this Zellos. So it, this grip is for target shooters. It's not for the hunter. It really changes the way the, the gun is the, uh, your trigger hand. It really puts you in a position where it's easier to pull the trigger straight back. A lot of people pull to the right. This this counteracts that. It's a straight back pull. Um, again, you have a, a little uh, set screw that you can screw in and out for different um, distances that you want it. The set screw, so it really sets you like a. It's kind of like a reminder, not a reminder, but a, a memory. It gives your thumb like memory of where to place your hand, and really helps you become more accurate. So moving on, let's go on to the uh, four uh, the four end. So. I, I make these for a couple different air guns. You can check them out on my website. But uh, here is the one for the Zealous. It just slides right on. So you take off your tank. You just unscrew it. It just unscrews. And then you just slide it on because of the gauge on the front. So it's got to come from the back. So what this does is it gives you some m -lock rails. It gives you three on this side. One on the bottom so you can attach a, a Picatinny rail. Uh, and again, three on this side. It gives you a little spot to grip. You can slide it up and down wherever you want it. Um, you can put a Picatinny rail here for the for the guys that want to attach a bipod. That allows you to attach a bipod or a flashlight. I use it for flashlight, but for those that are going to use it for long range, you can attach a bipod. I don't have one, otherwise I would attach it, but it gives you the M-locks. Um, here's a different style. Uh, again, I make these for different air guns. Check out my website. It's www.bravo. 3d.com if you want to pick one up or see what other guns I make them for also did a little air brake It has a, a half inch nut on there. So the threads should last forever because um, they are a, a nut a steel looks cool breaks the air it gives you more accuracy puts a little bit of weight in the front of the uh, barrel so it really helps with the vibration of the barrel please leave a comment on which one of these modifications is your favorite the the grip the forehand or the baffles Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe and uh, give me a thumbs up.